wouldn't be complete without a visit to one of the hottest spots in Pacific Beach. From a day of bikinis straight off the sand or a cool night walk from the farmer's market. Any way you show up, Firehouse is sure to bring the heat. Well, if it isn't the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Don't even talk. Don't even talk. Let's do an agua fresca and a drunken at sea. So you're used to this. Every time I see this man, he's at the bar and ordering drinks for everybody else. I mean, that hurts a little, but <laughs> I resemble that remark. Well, it's been a long day, an awesome day. So I think I do need a drink, so I appreciate that. Sure, where'd Here's you come from? Um, actually, from the farmer's market. But you know what? What better way to end the day with Firehouse? Because first of all, Pacific Beach wouldn't be complete without Firehouse. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> and I was drinking rosé, so we're moving into something else. It's cocktail hour now. You actually established Firehouse to feel like you could have your mom in for a glass of rosé. Yeah, exactly. I, also a party. <laughs> you know, it's funny. My grandma loves the biscuits and gravy, but my mom <laughs> likes rosé. So I was like, okay, we can do this. And all beach areas have a similar vibe. So we really want to do something that was kind of boho chic for people like you. But grandmas and moms feel comfortable in the morning too. And it's it's so true. Well, thank you. It's. I'm moving on. It's, moving, it's now cocktail on. hour. <laughs> it's always cocktail hour. Cheers. Cheers to you. And you know that's what I love about Firehouse is I feel like for me I come here thinking I'm just gonna have a bite to eat or a drink, but I'm here all day. So from sun up to sundown, <laughs> you just stay. I always joke with my friends. There's a little magical dust that happens. You're like, I'm just gonna have brunch. Yeah. I'm gonna have one cocktail. And then I'm out of here. And then five hours later, you're like, where's my Uber? Where's yeah. my Uber? <laughs> but that's the design, I mean, of all your places, too, is you've really changed PB. You've upped the game where now there's restaurants like this popping up because you've made an upscale restaurant that fits the beach vibe. I'm from this area. I'm from San Diego. There's goods and bads with any city. Pacific Beach needed something a little bit nicer. So we tried it. And a lot of times, if you have a nice view, sometimes you don't have to have the best food. And we were kind of thinking, what if you did have good food and a good view and good music? It really resonates. And it's, I don't want to say it's hard, but it, it is a little bit hard, but it works and it sets us apart. So you don't have bar food at any of your restaurants. You have amazing, like culinary, artistic food. Our chef, Brian, from uh, one of our other locations, oversees everything. and. You know, it's still approachable and casual here. As you said earlier, yeah. mom and grandma can eat here <laughs> for a little drunk. Maybe some chicken fingers, I don't know. <laughs> but we have good pastas, good salads. I mean, there's a health craze yeah. going on now. So if you're not healthy, you're not ahead of it. <laughs> and what's really cool too, is that you've really managed to make PB community an even tighter community. Sometimes in beach towns, it's very tourist-based. But if you could balance the tourist based with the local community, that's kind of the secret sauce, you know? And you do that well. I say anybody who is a Pibu local, like myself, if they don't know what Firehouse is... Like, who are you? You're not a Pibu local. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> and on top of it, the Firehouse, the whole name itself... We're right next door to a fire station. You can literally hear the fire trucks coming out with the sirens on. So we were like, let's be Firehouse you know, restaurant lounge. On quiet nights, you know, sometimes we'll do um, a fundraiser and just raise a bunch of money for them, and it's, it's a symbiotic relationship. You also have an upstairs. There's a whole nother vibe than this. I mean, this is awesome. No, I- You got I, some stuff going on No, upstairs. I appreciate that. <laughs> you walk upstairs, and it's like you went through like a crazy door, and you're like, whoa, what's going on? We have DJs upstairs. Well, tonight's not mellow, so hopefully they can let me get a little set in there or something. Ooh, you wanna- <laughs> On the ones and twos? If that's an invitation, I'm going upstairs right now. Let's do it. We'll drop one track. <laughs> I have been walking up these steps for over a decade now, and the excitement of hitting this rooftop scene never gets old. Flying solo or in a pack of your best friends, the drinks are always flowing and the ambiance never fails. There's just something about the energy of a live DJ set and a dance floor full of good vibes. You just feel it deep inside your adventurous soul. Matt Spencer said it best. You can absolutely lose yourself inside this magical place. And I guess the same could be said for our beautiful beach cities of San Diego. Honestly, only one word can sum up this exhilarating day, fire. From OB, Mission Beach, La Jolla to PB, these communities may be close in proximity, but their personalities and culture are worlds apart. 
With all that I got to experience, it's hard to let the evening end. But tomorrow's another day, and who knows what the list will bring.